Homebrew Wednesday. It's Larry 22 and uh, you're lucky you're getting to see me this week because I wasn't going to put out Homebrew Wednesday. But LJ, my oldest black lab, he wanted to go out at 1.30 in the morning. So uh, I took him out, went back to bed. I couldn't fall asleep. So I got some, I got some beer stuff done. So I did some transferring and uh, racked uh, my Brown Warrior. I racked that to the keg. So that is getting, uh, it's gotten cold crashed right now in the keg. And I, I'm not charging it because I'm using my CO2 tank for my drop kick Nate that we're having for the uh, St. Patty's Day crawl through the neighborhood. So uh, the next one that I had was my smash. This is the Warrior, no, yeah. No, this is the, uh, the Munich Munich uh, Galaxy Smash. So this is going to be my first taste on it. Smells. Uh, I did the uh, I did the flame out hops, and I had like an ounce of uh, Galaxy. I added them at the flame out, so I didn't dry hop. It looks nice and clear, nice and dark. You can see it. So, but this is uh, straight out of the primary, so uh, it's going to have another two weeks of uh, conditioning. So until I uh, actually keg it, and then we're gonna have the smash off in April. So uh, two weeks conditioning, two weeks in the keg, and then I do the bottling, and uh, I guess we're exchanging beers April 9th, since I'm in charge. That's when we're doing it. So anyways, I'll get a taste on this. Cheers. It's hoppy. I'm not really getting much on the uh, the malt. I was expecting a little bit more malty. Oh, so, uh, a low uh, mash temp. So maybe that's my problem. But it's still good. It's it's actually really hoppy for uh, for a pale ale. It's only supposed to be like 45 IBUs, but it's at the high end. So, uh, so anyways, I'm getting to taste the hops on this thing. So, uh, so I kegged that, or no, I transferred that into a secondary. So, I had my barley wine. So, remember I had the, uh, I asked you some questions on what, what to do with the barley wine, uh, champagne yeast, SO4, Krausen, that's what the, everyone said uh, to do. Actually, uh, uh, Nate actually said uh, use the Krausen. But, when I transferred it over to, uh, I transferred half of it over to a second secondary, which is a three gallon carboy. And then I was going to bottle the rest. So I got my bottles ready, got my prime sugar ready for about three gallons. And then uh, I actually, uh, I'm at a brain fart now. Uh, so I went and took a gravity sample. So this is the gravity sample right here. So the gravity sample was 1042. So 1042 was my gravity sample. So I'm thinking it should, I mean, it's been in the secondary or it's actually been uh, in the uh, primary and secondary for 10 months now. So I don't know if the yeast died off or what. So what I ended up doing was I ended up, I was going to add uh, a quarter pack of SO4, ended up uh, adding a half a pack of SO4 and we're going to see I put everything back into uh, secondary actually I guess now it's going to be tertiary so I put everything to see if I can get the ferment down a little bit more so let's get a taste on this cheers actually I mean it's still it started out the original gravity was 10 what, no 1.126 and it finished out at 10 1040 Two, 1042 so it's st it's still over 10 percent but wow <laughs> it smells strong very sweet tastes very alcoholic it's freaking good it's really good uh, but I think I was still I don't want any uh, bottle bombs. Uh, I've been talking chatting with some uh, guys online 
Uh, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to let it ferment out another uh, another month. See if it goes down anymore. If it doesn't, then I know it's not going anywhere. So, anyways, so I got that to drink. So St. Patty's Day is next week, next Tuesday, and uh, we're having our neighborhood crawl through neighborhood. And as in the opening, uh, you actually saw me pour a a stout. So here's a stout. It's already settled out a little bit. It started out at the top and just creeped its way down. This is my Rolo. This is my chocolate caramel uh, oatmeal milk stout. Yeah, that's what it is. So uh, it's really good. Uh, I tried it last night. It is pretty fantastic. So, oh, another cheers. It's got the perfect amount of caramel. I only put like one ounce of extract in it. Uh, the extract that I used was, I think you can buy this at Walmart, and it is, uh, it's J.R. It's J.R. Watkins Watkins imitation caramel, imitation caramel. I'm always sitting in the wrong spot. So. Uh, uh, one ounce and uh, total uh, the uh, my stout chocolate it was a chocolate stout milk stout and it finished out at 1031 uh, it finished out at 5.1 percent so it's not a it's not a real alcoholic it doesn't taste alcoholic at all it just really is just slides down slides down the throat uh, you get the chocolate flavor you still get a little bit of the roast the, uh, the roasted barley in it and uh, I can't tell the oatmeal well the oatmeal is probably working with the milk too so everything's kind of it's it's really good so uh, I had my friend Bo my neighborhood uh, neighborhood brewer uh, he came over and he tried it and he said this is too good to hand out to other people so he thinks I should take it off but I'm not gonna take it off I'll just make another batch yeah so uh, and it's getting summertime so you can't drink stouts during summer can you I usually don't so anyways uh, so I've got the, this one to drink so I got three I've got I got my smash I got my barley wine and now I've got my my stout my Rolo so what do I have here what do I have here this and this is my SJ Pour 2015 Challenge beer. So I still got I, I still got to get the yeast. Uh, I'm probably going to brew this possibly this weekend. I'm pretty sure I'm brewing it this weekend. So uh, I am excited about that. So so anyways. Uh, that's about it. I want to wish you guys, if I don't see you before St. Patty's Day, happy St. Patty's Day. And I will see you guys next week. See you guys. Peace. Right there, we are transferring the Brown Warrior. So, uh, trying to keep it quiet. My wife is asleep. I had insomnia, so I decided to get some beer stuff done. So we're going to transfer that to keg, and then we're going to go do the smash. Smash is going into the secondary, so I have to clean that. And then I'm going to finally bottle my barley wine. So the barley wine is going to get bottled today. <laughs>